Hey guys, welcome to a vlog. Today is currently Tuesday, and as y'all can tell from the title of the video, we are doing our guest room makeover. I'm just gonna get right into it because I'm so excited. We've been needing to get our guest bedroom done. It's coming up on the holidays, so family's coming into town and we need somewhere for them to sleep. So we're finally getting our guest room done. This is gonna be like a part one. I do wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Two Pages. Thank you so much, Two Pages, for sponsoring today's video sorry if i keep going blurry i don't know what's going on with my camera you guys don't know about two pages i'll pop in their website right here basically i've been seeing these curtains around i've been hearing about these curtains i've been seeing everybody with these curtains and i wanted to get me some so i was so happy when they said let's work together Brittany." i said yes ma'am so they was kind enough to send me over their beautiful 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 curtains and i ended up getting the linen curtains which is right here it's the bag that came in and when i say look at how beautiful they packed it all the specs will be in my description box below but i ended up getting i ended up getting the liz linen drape pleated okay these are beautiful pleated curtains with the color oak dim gray full length i have 104 inches because these are going to go from the ceiling to the floor y'all this time our living room curtains are like 13 or 15, 15 inches above the windowsill but these are going to go all the way up to the ceiling we only have one window in our guest room so i might as well just make the most out of it i just love the color it kind of matches my cardigan this is how they look it did come with the little clips or hooks like the plastic hooks hold on came with a bunch of these to hook on the back of them i'll probably post in some images or whatever or maybe some videos of how they look when they are actually on the wall but i feel like you guys are going to see it anyway in this video because that's one of the projects that we're going to get done which is hanging up these curtains i just love them they are so gorgeous if you guys want to shop with two pages make sure you go ahead and head to my description box click on that link and read the description and also use the code in my description box i'll probably put it here on the screen as well you guys can enjoy 15 percent off by being my subscriber and using my code of course so make sure you do so i cannot wait to show you guys how this turns out and I again Thank you so much to Two Pages for sponsoring today's video. You guys are gonna see a lot more throughout the video, so stay tuned. I wanna show you guys what the room looks like currently. And yeah, so this is our, so this is our guest room. My husband removed, what's up folks? My husband removed the light because we purchased a chandelier that we're gonna install. The mattress is up against the wall right now. This is a queen mattress. This room is kind of small, so it's gonna have a queen bed instead of a king. Y'all, I got all my Christmas decor out. This is the last of it. It's actually not that bad, but this is the last of my Christmas decor that I'm going to disperse. I just have it right here for now. But anyways, um, so I'll pop in right here the mock-up that i made in canva y'all always ask me how do i design my rooms i use canva pro i'll pop that up right here and i'll show you guys um what we plan on doing for this room i also posted it in my communities tab and on my ltk because i literally got everything from like amazon so y'all can shop our guest room but this is how it looks i'm actually going to go to home depot to get some different swatches for this back wall because we are doing the panel wall like we did in our entryway but um i don't know what color we want this to be a bold color but also tie into the room so yeah that's what i gotta do after i get macy from school this is how it looks and then the closet is like right here i got some of my stuff in the closet that I gotta move out. But yeah, that's how it looks. It's a 360. I mean, it's a good enough space. This room also gets a lot of sunshine and it's very open, even though it's only one uh, window, it still gets a lot of sunshine. And so yeah, that's just how it's looking. But yeah, yeah, we'll chat, we'll chat more in the car because I gotta go get Macy. So I'll be right back. All right, we made it to Home Depot, y'all. I gotta hurry up because we have a Girl Scout meeting at six from six to seven. 
so I want to hurry up and get things done because I have to go to that why does it look like the camera is moving weird I sh I'm shooting in 4k but I wonder if that has anything to do with it let me play my footage back hold on I have to enhance audio y'all because it's a little loud music and playing in the background but this is where I want to be basically my husband and I both agree that we want our back wall to be bold the guest room is so white y'all know city loft is our paint so it's like it's not white white but it's like it's neutral it's white enough it's like kind of like neutral so we want to go with the bold color but not black but definitely like a bold color i like like this type of i like this type of color Let's see mocha accent this is nice too you guys i narrowed it down to these three the color that we're looking for the first one reminds me of our dining room very brown gardener soil and mocha accent we're gonna swatch these and see which one we like the most one update that we have is i moved the office chairs in the living room you probably can't see because it's a little too dark this is how it's looking and i took my tree collar out of the storage because i'm trying to figure out where to put this tree either right here or move that chair and move the olive tree and put it right there the tree is pretty big it's not no skinny tree so i'm just trying to figure out where to put that i mean ideally it would be nice if i had two one right there one right there because that'll make it even because you know two chairs and i just feel like everything is even two bookcases but we don't have two and I'm not buying another one. I think it's pretty big enough. I did start hanging up some decor. Like I put my stockings from Hearth and Hand. I got these last year. I put them on the handles of the door. Macy gave me that idea. Right? What do you say? You told me to put yeah, the stockings yeah, on the yeah. doorknob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I didn't take oh yeah. Take the bottle. God, take the bottle now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um. But yeah, that's just a little. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Put, okay, you do them on me. Um. That's just a little addition that we did, and I love the chairs here. Um, yeah, I gotta. I have to. Yeah, this pillow. I have to. I will remember. I will remember this time. I have to sew that pillow up. It got a big hole in it. But yeah, look at the living room, y'all. It just feels so cozy with the windows and everything. Oh, not focusing. Okay, there we go. It just feels so cozy. I love it with these chairs here. So happy. Yeah, it's huge. But yeah, we're about to go to Girl Scout, so. It is, um, it's 8.30. Cheers. It is 8.30 almost. They got, oof. Oh, floor's kind of wet. I'm out. I mean, my daughter's out. <coughs> it's 8.30. I know it doesn't look like I went anywhere. But I promise you, we just came back from Girl Scout. Well, we didn't just come back. We came back like a couple hours ago. But, ooh. Um, I want to share with you guys the light fixture that we got from Amazon. We are about to install it. And currently, it's dark in there because my husband already took apart the light. So let me show y'all what we got. <clears throat> okay, first off... We ordered a TV, it's 40 inches, right? Yep, it's 40 inch TV. We wanted something small for the guest room, so 40 inch Vizio. That's the type of chandelier that we got. Hope y'all can see it. Uh, let me take it off the box. I have to put it together for y'all. All right, hold on, let me do this real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> Like the first time, throw 
throw away all my pride Don't wanna say I love you first But holding it in just might make me burst Love in the open Daydreaming, hoping Melting in our make-believe new worlds Whisper the next day it is Wednesday I think it's cup day my phone is upstairs I grabbed my phone because I wanted to see when was national cup day national cup day is tomorrow so I think I want to go and get my coffee oh that sugar almond cookie latte is calling me I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to order the coffee since it's cup day how are you doing this morning I woke up feeling so thankful and so blessed and just so humble and just tingly and good because for one i love you guys i was reading the comments from my last video about how being a mom being a wife having no identity currently in therapy trying to form my own identity so i was reading y'all comments yesterday and y'all really made me feel good about my last vlog the one where i like decorated the kitchen and stuff and i beginning of that vlog i was just sharing like me wanting to go out more, me wanting to take time to myself more, feeling lost as like motherhood and wife and all that just kind of consumed me. But yeah, I thank you guys. You guys are the best. Also, you guys, I just woke up and the sun is just beaming through our house. I love when the sun like kisses our home in the morning. I know some people have like sunset kiss but i have morning kiss and i just think that it just looks so gorgeous if that's even a thing what is it called sun morning sun kiss i don't know but it just looks so good i showed you guys in the beginning but oh my god with the sun coming through it's just like gazing through all bright and warm and beautiful absolutely obsessed like i am so obsessed let me tell y'all something like we might not have the biggest kitchen the biggest living room we might not have a butler's pantry we might not have coffered ceilings or whatever but i am so grateful for our home like we bought this home like this is our home we purchased our home our names this is our home so it's like in our 30s in our 30s so it's like i don't even care like you know because i get caught up in viewing homes online and i'm just like oh like i'm always gonna admire homes that's just something about me like i'm always gonna drive through a neighborhood and look at homes and be like oh that's nice that's nice follow um i'm always gonna follow like uh realtors and stuff on tiktok and instagram and like all these different homes but i am very 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 grateful for our beautiful home and the more we put into it the more i just feel like it's our home and it just feels beautiful and i'm just so cozy the vibe for this house was cozy and i'm glad we are embodying that thing because i just feel so cozy in our home minus our bedroom we gotta work on it <laughs> so today on the agenda is work i have to go to work I also have a meeting or presentation, so I might want to take off this silk headband. I tried to curl my hair. Let me see how it turned out. I tried to curl my hair. I had this headband for like months now, and I've never used it. And I don't know. I don't know if my hair, like the hair that I have in is too silky or what, but it just kept slipping off. I don't even know how these curls look. We're going to see. But a heatless option would be perfect for me because I'm tired of curling my hair. I'm tired of putting my flat iron on. So hopefully. And then y'all, I have a pimple patch right here. So don't mind that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. oh my 
my gosh. I feel like them girls on TikTok where they're like, oh my God. Okay, no, wait. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. She's onto something. Hold on. Okay. Wait. I'm really trying to figure out, like, I thought this was going to come out busted. Okay, no. I just probably have to let them fall a little bit. And then this part right here never curls. Okay. Okay, she's actually... She's actually very cute. She's very cute and bouncy. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I got this in a PR package, like, last year. And it's satin headband. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these things. Like, I'm just old when it comes down to trending things. And then it came with two scrunchies. Mm. It's by... This is my robe curls. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's by robe curls. Okay, robe curls. I'm not mad at that. All right, it's later on, and I wanted to share with you guys the Amazon package that we got. Again, for the guest room, which I'm in now. Uh, let me, I told you guys I'll have an update for the guest room. All right, so this is how the wall sconce looks. It reminds me of the chandelier. Um, did I show you guys the chandelier? You guys can't really see the chandelier because it is nighttime. That's okay, I will come in here during the daytime and show you guys what it looks like but it has been installed it is gorgeous i love it it's given looks and then these and then these are also the nightstands i think they're like in an oak color so these are how the nightstands are looking i have all of this linked my entire mock-up for our guest room is linked either on my LTK shop, I linked it in my YouTube communities tab. I linked it everywhere y'all, so y'all can check out all the items that we purchased, but I absolutely love these nightstands. They look so good and they look beautiful. They're bigger than what I thought they would be, would be. So we have two of them and then the wall sconces will go right in here. Gorgeous. Again, I'm just gonna get a bulb to go on here, cut this wire because we won't need it. And my husband just has to mount them on the wall. But about other than that, we don't need any hard wiring because we will get rechargeable bulbs from Amazon. So the wall right there behind the TV is going to be like an accent wall. I don't know if y'all can tell, but this is like a linen wallpaper. Y'all can tell, can y'all tell? It's very warm lit in here, so I'm not sure if y'all can see, but this is the wallpaper. And the only reason why I got this color is because remember on this wall behind the nightstands, we're doing a bold, darker color. So behind the TV, I wanted some texture. And so I decided to get this wallpaper, but hmm, we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. I will come back with more of the guest room updates. It's going dead, but good morning. It is Thursday. I just left Starbucks. I got my red cup. The red cups are so cute this year. Usually they're just plain red. But this year they're like, they have ornaments on them. How cute. And I just got my regular sugar cookie almond latte. Tall. And a sausage cheddar because I'm about to go to work and I don't feel like making breakfast this morning. I'm just gonna go to work. Good morning. We're gonna start on the guest room. My camera's dying, but it's raining and gloomy and it's not even sunny out. 
but hopefully I can get some good footage because a lot of stuff coming in from Amazon today. So that will be in today's vlog because it's a lot, but I'll see you guys when I get to the house. Back in guest room, y'all. These are the nightstands. Try to get some daylight so y'all can see them in the daylight, the natural color. It is gloomy outside and raining, but hopefully y'all can get the gist of the colors. I'll show them again throughout the video too, so y'all can see them. And the chandelier as well. The TV is mounted and put up. I forgot to share with you guys these pillows. I ordered a bunch of these pillow inserts because I told you guys I want the room to feel really lush, really hotel-like. And when I look at photos, they have a bunch of accent pillows on the bed along with, you know, the regular pillows. This is the guide that I followed for the bed. So I think I picked this one at the top where it tells you you need to get two, no, three 20 by 20s two 26 by 26 and then one lumber pillow i'm excited though because this time y'all i got feathered down pillows like y'all suggested i do so i can have a nice chop for the bed i just took it out the vacuum seal so it's not a hundred percent there but oh. <gasps> nice chop pillows for the guest room Oh my gosh, I need to invest in all feathered down pillows. Because what? I didn't get accent pillow covers yet. Like, I don't know what color our bedding is going to be for this room. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a neutral color. So I didn't purchase the covers yet. But I do have the inserts. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I was trying to show you guys the wallpaper yesterday, but I think it was like too dark. And it's supposed to go behind our TV as like an accent wall. And we're gonna build a frame around it. It's supposed to go like this. But yeah, that's that. And um, y'all, I got some new pajamas too. So cute and comfy. back <laughs> we back with the um rollers not rollers what are they called the headband because i thought it was so cute and my hair curls flopped or dropped because of the ring so i put it back on i ain't working i'm just working at my desk anyway but this is the bed if y'all can tell we got it in the color beige and it's a queen size bed. It's just for our guest room. So queen size is what they get. <laughs> you know, give them the two double special, <laughs> the two double. Curtain rod, it's so nice. I just feel like it fits the theme of our room. And yeah, it's pretty lightweight. Once my husband drills the holes for the curtain rod, I only got one because it's only one window. So I will hang the curtains up formally and show you guys how they look. Everything is everything. Okay, cool. All right, so we're waiting. We're still waiting on our panels. And what I mean by panels, this exact, well, not exact same style, but these type of panels we also ordered. And we're doing a little bit different this vlog. So hopefully our method works. I will share that with you guys once the panels arrive because I think that's the last thing we're waiting on. Okay, y'all, this is the lineup of the pillows. I forgot to get the lumbar pillow. No, I'm sorry. I didn't even forget. I actually just wanted to see what the stores would have and put one right here. Like, I know Target has good pillows, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, even. So I'll probably stop in TJ Maxx first and look for like a lumbar pillow. But it's giving, <laughs> it's giving hotel. Oh my God. I love it. Sorry. 
I just get so excited over home decor and just little things like pillows because they're so fluffy. I'm so happy that you guys suggested feather down because I was sitting here with stiff pillows and you guys are not haters. You helping a girl out. See, that's what we're supposed to be. But <sighs> it's so cute. And then I didn't even have the um, queen pillows. I have bedding coming. It's a sponsorship. So I don't even have the queen pillowcases yet. They're going to go behind those two big pa pillows. But they're going to lay flat so it can look like they're all sitting up. If that makes sense. But yo, the Moule, Moule, whatever. I have them linked in my Amazon. Y'all did good. Y'all did real good. Got our wall molding kit. And I want to take them out because I want to show you guys. They're a little bit different than these ones right here. I mean, I guess our wall molding has arrived. This is how one of the panels look. I think it's three total. Off the bat, they're definitely thicker than the ones we had before. I don't know if I can tell, but they're different than those ones as far as width they can be painted so that's how they look showing i want to show you guys how the panels are being installed this time if you guys remember from our entryway we used glue but i told you guys this time we're going to be using tape so let me show y'all this is the wood working tape it's double-sided tape basically applying them on the back again these are all numbered i think i showed you guys that these were thicker this is how the tape looks on the back of it and this is how the wall is coming out this time around i told you guys it was a different pattern so so three boxes instead of the other ones that we had on the bottom in the entryway we had boxes on the bottom boxes on the top this is just three big ones with a bigger one in the middle. Still have to cock it and fill it, but it's still very much easier. Oh, it's a flurry, very easier. Good morning, you guys. The room, the room is almost complete. This is the bed. I have it linked in my Amazon store. It's just a velvet beige queen size bed you do not need a box spring no box spring needed it has plaits or plates or whatever they're called slates at the bottom we do have a mattress topper we're going to put on top of this to make it more fluffier it's in the closet so it probably has to deflate or something because i didn't take out the box yet but here is the panels sorry it needs to focus and the wall sconces up here are the nightstands now what we have to do next is hang up the curtains. As you can see, I'm filming my sponsor for today, Two Pages. Thank you so much. I don't know if y'all ever took a quite look at the drapes and curtains, but they are gorgeous. They're perfect for the room. They are pleated. Oh, their, their curtains are amazing. Yeah, that's how it's looking. After we install the curtains, next thing I have to do is seal where the lines are at. Put this one's back on. Let it dry, sand it down, and then caulk it. This is what it looks like. This will go behind the TV as an accent wall, but we're also framing this wallpaper. Yeah, it'll add enough texture to the wall because I was afraid that it was going to be too light is coming along so good it's definitely giving hotel vibes luxury hotel like i wanted definitely my vision is coming to life with this room i'm not on camera because i look a mess so i'm going to get myself ready um come back and film and show you guys the curtains probably like only two extensions of these I'm even wondering if I should do the longer one. All right, here are the curtains installed. And that's how long they come right to the floor. They are 104, I believe. 
Let me fix this. They are 104 inches, I believe, long. And this color is the, the color is oak dim gray, if y'all are wondering. Yeah, makes the room look tall. Let me know what y'all think. Taping up the room to get ready to paint it. I have to caulk it. I started already over here in this corner, in the middle slates right here. So on this side and then down the middle, I have to do the top corners. I have to do the top corners, seal it with this. I showed you guys this last time. This is the same stuff I use for our hallway. I wanna use it to caulk all of these up. So that's just the next step of what we're doing right now. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday and it's the next day. I am currently about to go to Target because one, I need a couple of things. I really want to start getting ready to decorate our living room because I have not decorated our living room yet, child. And well, I put decor here and there, y'all saw. But I really want to get a couple of things because I know that they're um, what is it called? Their sale is coming on, like their Black Friday deals or whatever. So I want to see if they have anything. Because I have a small list to get. And I also want to try the new Starbucks drink y'all was talking about. I asked y'all on my Instagram, have y'all tried this cranberry, cranberry, I put a picture right here if I remember. Uh, refresher. I love their refreshers. I used to drink them all the time. It still gives me that caffeine boost without drinking coffee, and I really don't feel like having coffee today. So I want to try that too. I was just going to go to Starbucks, but now I was like, if I'm going to Starbucks, I might as well go to Target, right? You, you see the thinking. But let me show you guys a couple of things. I'm going to switch my camera around. So I asked you guys on my Instagram. Y'all need to follow me on Instagram because I be chatting with y'all. I be going live too. Like, follow me on Instagram. But anyways, I put my chairs this way because i asked y'all should i do two going like this and then the christmas tree or one and a lot of y'all voted one my husband even said he likes one so i think that's what i will do i'm going to put this chair temporarily in our front office back in the front office where it was and bring it back after christmas is over but right now this is how the living room is going to look i hung up the garland i'm not sure if it's gonna stay like this because i really forgot that i have stockings that i need to put up here and it's five stockings so i put four it's five stockings i don't know if i put i don't know why i did this but i need to put our stockings right here in this little bitty space is not going to be enough for all of our stockings so i actually got to move this garland down but I did use the hooks that I got from Amazon. I saw somebody on TikTok use them. I already messed up with the thing right here, but ooh, it's hot. Y'all, this fireplace gives off real heat. Like, y'all see these things blowing? It's hot as heck. I'm surprised these things ain't burning. Ooh, these things is hot. These little green hooks I got off of Amazon. So I have that to hold the garland up for now. I think it looks nice and seamless. I like how it looks. Hey, my olive tree. I'll see you later, girl. I love her so much, but we are gonna put her up in the garage, girl. And I started decorating the console table. Then I got my letters to Santa box, of course. And then my wreath is gonna go up here on our wall art. And that's pretty much it. I don't do too much with my dining room. I mean, my console table, I just, really keep it a little plain because I just feel like I don't like it too color cluttered <laughs> and I have my candle that I got from uh, Walmart it actually smells good a lot of the candles in my opinion stink but this one actually smells good <laughs> this is a uh, juniper fair needle balsam of course all the scents that I love so all right but just a little update on our guest room <laughs> I know y'all probably like girl finish this guest room but I promise y'all, it's not going to be finished this vlog because there's more furniture coming. There's a lot more stuff coming. So it was never going to be finished this vlog. This is the TV console that I was telling y'all about. I am debating on painting the top portion of it or keeping it. I don't know, but it's not going to be on the floor, of course. My husband's still building it. It will be floating under the TV. But you see how long it is? 
So that's how long the wallpaper will be behind it. And I am debating on painting the top of it. I don't know what color, maybe like white. That's all I have. And I'm like, what color? Probably white. I don't know. I might have enough of the sample paint that they gave me, but I don't know what y'all think I should do. I feel like I don't like the marble. But speaking of paint, we did do our samples on the wall and we've already decided on the color. So I wanna show y'all up close. Hopefully y'all can see. So this one, okay, don't get mad at me, but this one came out real ratchet. I don't know what, what was going on with this one. This one's like a dark, like I said, brown one. This one I originally loved but I just feel like it's way too dark. Like, yes, it has brown, reddish undertones, but the whole wall being this color, I just think it's too dark. This one I absolutely love, I really do. It's not as dark as this one. I know it's dark, but this one's a little bit more brown, like espresso brown or maybe a little bit lighter. And it reminds me of the curtains that we have over here just a little bit and i was liking this but ultimately we decided on the mocha accent which is this one right here this is the mocha accent and i just feel like this would look better in the room my husband and i have decided and we think that behind this wall would be the mocha accent and it'll just look nice it won't look too dark it won't look too gloomy it's just the perfect amount of depth that we want in the room especially with the dark blinds and all that i think this will go great so that is the color a winner winner chicken dinner it is mocha accent by bear uh we already taped off the wall i finished caulking i finished um everything I just have to sand it down. I don't know, I love doing this step because it just makes it look extra seamless to the wall versus just leaving it. So yeah, the only thing I have to do is just sand down these small parts that I have. We also have a chair coming for this room. It's gonna go right in this corner. That's supposed to come Monday, so I don't know if I'm gonna share it in this vlog or not because like I said, I'm trying to get these vlogs out so if it's not in this vlog, it'll be in the next vlog. And I think once the chair gets here, the room will almost be done. I still have to get bedding, pillowcases, all that. I still have to do all that. I love how this room is turning out. It just looks so gorgeous. It just looks so gorgeous. And when I complete projects like this, like I'd be like, should I do interior design? But I just feel like I'm not that confident because like, I be I know a lot of stuff like I feel like I am a true creator like yes I create content and I can make like really cinematic content and be like you know um talented in that area but I also can do hair I could do nails like I can create some things I could do rooms okay I could do real projects okay make something out of nothing but anyways i'm not gonna jab my jaws too much we're about to head to target so let's go good afternoon thanks for choosing your livable starbucks what can i get for you hi can i try your um venti orange crayon refresher lemonade refresher all right what else can i get for you uh that'll be it okay 6.90 thank you so much thank you Let's see what she's giving y'all, chat. I'm a little scared. Y'all know how much Starbucks points I have? I have 248. That's a little. <sighs> Such a nice day. I was looking at the car wash and I was like, should I go to the car wash? But then I was like, that's labor. Hey, yeah. Yes. Gotcha. Do you want a receipt? Uh, no, thank you. Ooh, this look kind of good, y'all. I'm not even going to fret. <laughs> okay, let's park because if it's nasty, I'm taking it back. I don't like it with the strawberries, the cranberries in it. 
it's really good. <clears throat> I don't really taste that much cranberries. I thought I was gonna be like, boom, cranberry juice. Cause I like cranberry juice. The only thing is I don't get fruit inclusions in my drinks. So I forgot to tell them no cranberries. But at the same time, it's fine. Cause I feel like they're not as slushy as strawberries where it breaks up into little bits and gets everywhere. All right, let's head to Target. Y'all, we're going to Hobby Lobby first. I figured we'll go there first instead of going to Target. I want to see if they have these florals. You know, look how cute these uh, slippers are. How cute. I wish they had like cream ones. They had the brown ones that I feel like I want to get. Like how cute. This is the blanket that I, I wanted. All right, y'all, I'm back home and I'm gonna share with you guys what I got from the store. Y'all, Target wasn't giving. Oh, what I did get from Hobby Lobby is this vase. It's similar to the one that I wanted, not quite exactly, but it's pretty close to my vision. I wanted something that was like more darker. I know this is giving off green, but not like super light green. I feel like it's giving like smoky green. And then I couldn't decide on flowers. I was going back and forth. I ended up getting these, which were in my vision as well. They were $10.99 a piece with 40% off. These were like what are these hydrangeas? But they're, I don't know if y'all can tell the color. They're like purple, gray, dark. I wanted some darker floral. So I ended up getting these and I am about to cut them because I want them really short in here. Oh, perfect. I didn't want like white florals. I wanted something with some dimension. So I was like, let me get a darker floral. So I think this type of flower is perfect. And so that's what I wanted to get. Let me take y'all into the room. And we're gonna put her up. It's kind of dark already. Sorry about the noise. Oh, but y'all can't really see. Yes, I think it's gonna look perfect. It's The sun is going down, but oh yeah. That's the type of vibe that I was trying to bring to the guest room, so. This is staying right here. Of course, this nightstand is not gonna be right here. It's gonna go against the wall. We just have it right here for now because we have to move the bed anyway and remove the sconces because we have to paint. But for now, I love it. Ooh, this room is like becoming my favorite, favorite room. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, yeah, love it. And as for Target, I found this pillow. This pillow was $15. Originally it was, I don't know what the original cost of the pillow was, but this is from Threshold. I think it's so cute. It's so cute, it has little Christmas trees. It's going right here on the couch. Um, I don't think I'm gonna switch out my pillowcases. I think I'm just going to add in this pillow. And then I purchased my favorite, I had to get this. I was eyeing this. And I was like, oh, I want it. I got the, uh, what is this called? The Hearth and Hand Throw. I think it's so cute. I wanted a throw that looked just like this. It's like flannel with Christmas color. It just gives me nostalgic, I don't know. It gives me nostalgic vibes. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. So I feel like this together on the couch when it's pulled out and stuff will look really, really cute yeah you yeah. i love it i love it i love it a lot and i feel like it matches my um what is that called the what is this called stocking i feel like it matches my stocking too i got these last year but it just looks so cute right these hermes dupe what oh my gosh i think these are so cute first of all they're hard bottom I got a size seven, which to be honest with you is a little bit big, but I just think they're so cute. Like what? Ow, ow, I'm trying to walk in them. Like, do you guys see how cute they are? My toes ain't done, but look. 
I think they're so cute. Sometimes when you have like furry slippers, you don't want them to be closed. Like you want open toe furries. I'm about to start getting dressed because I want some dinner. I told you guys I want to take myself out. So that's where we're headed. I am going to Atlantic Station to get something to eat. I'm actually really hungry, so let me hurry up. Saving my appetite. I had breakfast, but girl, it's time for lunch. Time for dinner. So let me get dressed. I'm probably gonna go live. I think I'm definitely gonna go live on YouTube when I go sit down to eat so that we can have a girl chat like we did last time. That was really fun. Let me get dressed. I'll see y'all probably in the car or like I'll show you guys my outfit right before I leave. This is the fit. I'm pretty sure you guys cannot see. This is the fit, you guys. I don't, I don't think I can see fully. Let me, let me go like right here. I don't know if y'all can tell what my outfit is, but I got this outfit. I saw Jalisa wear it on Instagram. Y'all know Jalisa Vaughn. I think that's what her name is. <laughs> she had this really cute outfit and um, it's a two piece. I got off of Amazon. I will link it below it does come off the shoulder it's this two piece it has a thumb hole and it's really really cute i love it i love how it looks on me giving the growls what you gonna give okay it got a little slit pants leg oh i found these heels off amazon too they remind me of like the alexander wang dupe it's not that cold outside right now, so I am wearing this. I feel too dressed up. I'm not gonna lie because I'm only going to Yard House to sit at the bar and eat and talk to you guys. But Kyra said put that sh on. <laughs> Kyra, Kyra, I was watching her vlog and she was like, put it on, put it on. She was like, put it on. Stop waiting to wear your clothes and put it on. I bought this like a month ago, a while ago, okay? Not even a month ago. I probably bought this two months ago and I never wore it yet. So we going out. It's almost Capricorn season, baby. What? We step out in the winter. Everybody be cold, don't want to go out. Baby, we step out in the winter, period. But I'm wearing my leather jacket. Where did I get this jacket from? Um, a oh, Walmart. Girl, I got this jacket from Walmart a long time ago for like $25. Um, I just like wearing this jacket because I'm not trying to be too dressy. I feel like my outfit is dressy enough. My little Louis bag. I got my little tripod because I plan on taking pictures because y'all got to get capture the moment, okay? If anything, capture the moment. I don't care if you're by yourself. Capture the moment. I gotta put some lippy on in the car and also spray my fragrance on in the car. But other than that, y'all, I'm hungry. I'm about to go to eat, take pictures. We on live. <laughs> I'm back home, you guys. As y'all can tell. I want some of my sandwich. But dinner was good. Thank you guys for joining in. Um, my fries are so cold. I just had to talk real quick because Atlanta has changed. It definitely has changed. I was out there and there were so many young kids. Sometimes you gotta dance. Woo! I I just feel for our young generation. Cause they be out here like zombies. Atlanta's not a real place. I know people be saying that, but some stuff you be seeing out here, you be like, this is not a real place. Cause that wouldn't happen in a real place. <laughs> it's not a real place, honey. Mm, I'm gonna say this for tomorrow because it's so good. Cheers, fruit splash, ginger ale tastes so good. Spicy. Oh my gosh, I'm about to call it a night. Tomorrow, I think I want to decorate Macy's bed in her room. I got all her stuff right here on the stairs. 
So I think that's what we're gonna do tomorrow and then I'm just gonna end the vlog. That'll be it because the guest room is gonna be continued, TBH, okay? Wait, two, two, TBH, two, TBH, that's to be on, oh my gosh, TB, TBC. <laughs> All right, good night. Morning, morning, morning. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I just got back to pick up my food. Oh, I just got back from picking up my food. Y'all, when I'm by myself, it's Uber Eats all day. <laughs> it's Uber Eats all day. I can order what I want. I ain't gotta worry about sharing. I don't mind sharing, but you know, I can just do what I want, what I want, what I want. And I was craving. So I was craving first watch. Oh, they packed everything like in three containers. Wait, where's my oven? Oh, my syrup. So I ended up ordering their lovely pancakes. They have whole grain pancakes. Everything is so natural from um, first watch. Their million dollar bacon. If you know, you know. Their million dollar bacon, period. And I got some eggs as well. I'm about to heat these up because I feel like they look cold. Mm, but I didn't need two of these, so let me. I did order extra bacon because they only give you two slices. I just feel like that's not enough. I got a little pepper and salt in there, girl. Let me see. Their bacon has like, what is it? Cayenne pepper, syrup, and parsley. Mm. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna eat, and I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, y'all, here's Macy's room. Again, I got the Comforter Duvet cover from, um, what is it called? I got it from H&M. It actually came with an extra pillowcase. I have this extra pillowcase that I purchased and I forgot to get a pillow for it. I ordered all the pillows for the guest room, but I forgot I had this. Um, it's a 16, what is it? 16 by 24 pillowcase that's supposed to sit like behind her other pillow, her standard pillow. So I will get a pillowcase for that, but this is what the bed sheet looks like. It's so cute. The two pillows I got from Target, pre lit tree I got from Target. And then this all I also got from Target. It's like the little <laughs> reef and door. How cute is this? So freaking cute. Everything is from Target. And then you guys know the pillowcase and duvet cover is from H&M. So this is how Macy's room turned out. Very little, very small decor, not too big. And then for our lounge, we just have this Christmas tree. I got this Christmas tree from Walmart for like 20 bucks. And um, I just used a lot of our old decor this garland's from Walmart. I used two of them. It's an old garland. And then I just put our old Christmas tree, like charcuterie board thing. And I filled it up with these like little candies that we all like, the little mini peppermint barks. And then our countdown to Christmas. And yeah, little stockings and everything. So pretty simple, pretty basic. I really didn't do too much to the lounge this year. And then I got our threshold blanket from Target a long time ago. I think I got this like two years ago or last year. But it's like this blue clay material, so nice. Good morning, by the way, it's the next day. I look crazy. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys our pajamas because Target's pajamas are not on sale. Don't shop the target circle deals y'all wait until like sunday like today like this week because last week they did their like whole sale right mm -mm. Mm -mm. they always wait until the sale is over to do like another sale so i finally got our pajamas now i told myself last year i'm not gonna buy any more pajamas because every year i buy pajamas but i just did it anyway and plus these kinds are like the I don't know, like they're like the less expensive kind, I guess. So I got us our Santa Claus pajamas, but like, okay, the brown Santa, so cute. So I got the brown Santa pants and then I got everybody the Cookie Crew t-shirt to match. 
And I also got Macy the full pants and bottom outfit so that she can match us. Um, so yeah, I got that from Target this morning. They were 30% off. So our shirts were like $7, like real cheap. I said, okay, period, Target. So, so happy I was able to find them. Oh yeah, guys, also in our dining room, I found these stems from Target. They were $5 a piece. And I y'all know I got a bunch of these bows. I just tied one around it. I've been had this vase from Hobby Lobby. And yeah, that's just what the kitchen is looking like. Very simple, very simple. And I'm just gonna keep it like that. So I ended up ordering these decorative books set from Amazon for our uh, guest room. It's by Sokoto, Sykoto brand. I don't know, Sykoto, Sokoto. It is the Sage and Beige. Hey, that rhymes, Sage and Beige. Why is my camera going dead? The color is Sage and Beige decorative books and i was like oh perfect because i wanted to get some decorative books to go on top of the nightstand right here and so i ordered these this is what it looks like this is what it looks like it has the gold print and then on the side it just says oscar some name y'all just a little decorative name and then it's actually a storage so when you open it up they have the second book in here but this is actual storage so you can put i don't know the remote you can put stuff in here for storage <laughs> and then the second book just says remembrant paintings and port wait what does it say Mem remembrant paintings and portraits and on the side it just says remembrant same thing and so you stack them like this again this also has storage it comes with a little thank you card oh i think i purchased from them before i feel like i saw this family before i feel like i purchased from them before <laughs> um but anyways i love that it has the perfect color i got sage because again i'm like loving this like dark greenery type feeling in here as well so i want to put them like right here so i want to put it right here excuse the other stuff on the nightstand we're still working in here but i just thought this with the flowers and the books oh my god it just looks so good it, it looks so good so i had these linked such a beautiful option like to have storage books but not really books i just think that looks so cute i rather that than like actual books <laughs> but oh my gosh it looks so good i love it i love it i love it now once i cleared this stuff on here it was gonna go like right in the middle more so you know what i mean like right here in the middle perfect perfect yeah so that's that love it love it but yeah you guys that is it for the vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed so far i cannot wait to take you on the rest of the transformation of our room guest room and i can't wait to finish and show you guys share with you guys the final product if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you guys can see all of our house to home happenings and series going on next vlog i'm putting up our christmas tree i'm actually going to put up my christmas tree tomorrow so you guys will see that in the mix um on the next vlog we're going to paint this room we're going to um put up our tv stand and just finally complete this room get some bedding pillowcases all that so this room could just be done and over with you like the content girl you watching you might as well subscribe sister like what but yeah, guys, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.